Hello, so today I have an admission to make. Uh, a little bit disgusting admission, to be honest. So, if you followed my channel, you know that I was in a group of people. And in that group of people, I did something really dumb. dumb. What I essentially did is I created a familiar for the group with a particular purpose. Uh, I forged the spirit. It wasn't my servitor. It was a spirit with his own will and intentions. But the problem was that servitor wasn't programmed really well and it started attacking all of the members of the group including me until one member of the group killed the spirit attacks on me were not so severe but Another members of the group were attacked severely and uh, one member of the group has an autistic son. Of course, this is all anonymous. I don't name people. I am just telling you what happened. And that child, that innocent child was affected by my rogue familiar in a negative way I really was informed about this today and it got me thinking is there any way for sorcerer to kind of undo this to remove this to go beyond this because all of the things that familiar did my stomach was somehow willing to process it but this this last thing i was informed about is really something which got me thinking is there any punishment for reckless use of magic of course i didn't create a familiar with a desire to harm this autistic kid but it doesn't negate the fact that child is harmed by the spirit i create and it really got me thinking is there any punishment for reckless use of magic okay of course there is uh, and that punishment is usually administered in the afterlife or after death and uh, we will talk about in this video about restless dead and uh, purgatorial flames now what are the purgatorial flames it is referenced in many cultures it is technically a dimension in which two dangerous restless dead and the parasites are locked so they cannot harm people which inhabit other dimensions and spirit which inhabit other dimensions it's technically a prison for really nasty entities and uh, within that prison you have what is referred in christianity in lake of fire in hinduism as flame of the asuras and also in buddhism in slavic religion it is referenced uh, as 
Dead Deep, which contains portal to that same realm. In Norse paganism, it is a reference to as a flame of as the flames of Surtr. So purgatorial flames are referenced in every religion. Or every religion and spiritual teaching has its own version of purgatorial flames. Of course, Christianity puts a big emphasis on purgatorial flames and they kind of distort many things about them. Especially about humans who end up in purgatorial flames. Now, within that dimension, there is, of course, a lake of fire. And purpose of that lake is to purify the souls of the people who did really nasty shit so they can return to a reincarnation cycle and try again. Uh, you usually don't remain within those flames eternally. You remain for a certain period of time and then you return and reincarnate again. Uh, but there is an instance in which you remain there in those flames for a really, really long period of time. And that's when you do some fucked up shit and then you turn to really strong ghost, really strong restless dead. And then you literally go around doing pretty nasty shit as a restless dead. Even for the standards of the restless dead, right? And then you usually got put up into purgatorial realm. Either by Hecate or Anubis or Veles or Svarog or whatever deity presides over that in your area. And then you kind of become pushed into the flames there. But since you did really fucked up shit as a human, which turned you into malevolent restless dead, and then you did really fucked up shit as a malevolent restless dead, in that form, then you really remain for a long period of time there. And Hecate informed me that there is a possibility for a living magician to enter the purgatorial realm so he can be during lifetime purified of fucked up shit he or she did and I kind of channel the ritual to access this realm and become purified in it uh, by presenting the energy of that realm uh, receiving visions of the realm and then through the guidance of Hecate, be literally burned by the flames of that realm. So that's how you can, while you are alive, purify yourself from your own fucked up shit. Now, I will probably need somebody else's help to do this ritual. I have two person in mind. Or three. Both of them severe Hecatean devotees. But really fucked up shit I did with the familiar got me thinking. Of course, majority of black magicians don't do uh, shit fucked up enough to be in there for a really long time in a purgatorial realm and uh, especially not in a purgatorial flames because purgatorial realm has flames on the bottom but it also has many other realms there and uh, all of the realms inhabited by their dead are technically connected to the purgatorial realm and the purgatorial realm and the realm known as the core of the earth are technically the same thing now what other thing 
got to my mind is when you when you like enter this realm like in a ritual like can I be locked there by accident or something that's a question so I already channeled by Hecate a method to access the realm and become purified within it but the thing is I am kind of afraid of doing it guys and girls and ladies and fucking gentlemen because you know this is not for the faint of heart so I would probably do it but I need somebody else to kind of guide me through the process together with Hecate um, so that's issue here and uh, yeah and regarding Hecate I actually discovered not necessarily discovered because really no human can claim to discover a new aspect of Hecate or any other spirit for that matter that aspect of that spirit exists probably since the beginning of time you are not discovering anything uh, you are simply acknowledging it uh, so I also tapped into new aspect of not necessarily new but lesser known aspect of Hecate known as the Thracian Hecate so if you don't know already according to historical sources such as Herodotus Thucydides and others cult of Hecate and uh, Orphic mysteries didn't originate in uh, Greece, they originated in Thrace. If you don't know what Thrace is, uh, Thrace is located, antique Thrace is located in modern Bulgaria. Also, according to other sources we have, original Hecate was mostly Ktonic, aka underworld divinity. Observations of Hecate as the world soul and a celestial being, per se, which we find in Greek magical papyri, originate in a much later stage of her observation and development. And in this video, for the end, I will pronounce to you a magical chant for calling Hecate's Thracian aspect. Hecata de Atracotia Hecata de Atracania Hecata de Atracotia Hecata de Atracania. So, yeah, the, those are the chants. And Thracian aspect of Hecate looks in the following manner it's usually a little bit older, beautiful woman in her 40s dressed in gray dress followed by two really really big dogs big dogs with key in her hand and a cloak on her head she in this aspect can like be naked and dance too but there is nothing sexual in there uh, this aspect of Hecate is extremely beautiful and extremely savage and wild, but it is also extremely asexual. It is savagery in a way of using your own body and alternate states of consciousness 
to reach divine gnosis. Um, actually, if you work with Hecate a lot, she will kind of instruct you toward sexual abstinence. And uh, she will really force you to become disciplined. This is everything for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.